Yeah, man, I just had to do a quick video, man. I got something to talk about with y'all, man. And I wanted to see if y'all realize what's going on out here. Now, I don't even know where to start, so I'm going to just speak. So, um, if y'all don't realize, like, y'all don't see, like, a separation going on, or y'all don't feel like there's separation, and what I'm referring to is people that took the vaccine versus people who are not willing to take the vaccine. Um, listen, man, I think it's time to wake up as people, man. Things are changing, and there's a reason why this situation is upon us because it's a great awakening happening. People need to uh, people need to be more aware of what's actually going on because you know I was I was doing a <clears throat> I was jogging the other day, right? I was going on my walk or jog, whatever you want to call it. And this is how you know things are being separated because I'm walking. And there's a lady that she's like, you know, a couple feet ahead of me. We're walking toward each other. And I don't I don't be wearing no mask. I'm not worried about all that. You know what I'm saying? I understand who I am. I understand my power. I don't I'm not fooled by what's going on. Now, I'm walking and oh man, look at that old school Jason Kidd shoe, y'all. Y'all can see it. But anyway, I'm walking and we're getting ready to walk past each other. And she has a mask, but it's sitting under her chin. Like, basically, she's breathing fresh air. Now, keep in mind, this is a wide, big, wide world. Enough space for everyone. And we're getting closer. She's getting closer to me. And she starts, we're getting closer to each other. And then she does this. She puts her mask on just to walk past me. And... I'm, I'm not offended. I understand what's going on. I understand who I am. I understand that she she uh, is misguided by the media, you know, because just a year or two ago or even years back when we had other so-called pandemics or viruses in the world, we weren't worried about no damn mask. We weren't saying put your mask on or none of that. And even if we did, it wasn't as big as it supposedly is now. We weren't worried about none of that, man. So, I realized that the media, well, we should all have been realized that. I've been realizing, but I'm telling you now, the media portrayed an image and put fear into your heart for you to even do something like that. Because like I said, just last year, you would have walked past me and you wouldn't have worried about a man. You wasn't worried about that. So I just feel like people, they losing themselves. They, um, they're not becoming aware of who they are. They're losing their power. And they're using a pandemic. They're letting this pandemic situation, you know, dictate how they should feel, how they should move throughout their life. And, you know, you need to become more aware, man. You're powerful. I, I think a lot of people, they want to live physically. Like, there's nothing wrong with listen, living physically. Listen to what I'm saying. They live for the, for the body. And... They don't move off what the spirit tell them because if you think of like, if you think, hold on, let me turn my shit on. If you think, um, people wake up every day, they 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 do what the world tells them or they do the things of the world, which is cool, right? You gotta you gotta while you in this vessel, you gotta maintain your 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 your, your reality, right? But you don't think that. There's an energy inside of you, right? Think about what I'm saying. There's an energy inside of you. And you're not tending to that energy, or that energy is not fulfilling its its purpose while you're here. You just think you gotta hit the club, you gotta hit rolling loud, you gotta do all that. Because why? You you running away from yourself. That's what you're really doing. You're really running away from yourself. Because when you become aware of yourself, you realize you can't do them things. You can. There's nothing stopping. You got the power to do what you want. But you just won't feel the urge to be like, man, I, I need to go out and stand in, in a crowd with thousands of people just to put my camera phone up on this guy because I'm, I'm such in awe of him. You start to 
move past that. You know what I'm saying? I guess we would call that 3D thinking. You know what I'm saying? You start to move in a higher dimensional thinking to be like, man, what what's my purpose here? The moment you ask yourself that, that's when the moment the universe starts to uh, display all that to you. What's your purpose here? You know? What, what can you do to help uplift the next man? We all have a role. And I think I think there's some people on this this in this world that are smart enough to realize that and turn that against you. You know what I'm saying? They're smart enough to realize that they can turn your own mind against you or you can lose yourself without knowing who you are. You know what I'm saying? So I advise everyone, man, things are changing really fast. There's a separation going on between vaccinated and unvaccinated. You're going to have vaccinated people look at you like you're crazy, you know, because you didn't take a vaccination. Like, if you believed in yourself, you believe in your power, you know what I'm saying? You become aware of who you are. You won't have to go down that route, you know? I know I know people that took it, but I can't tell them no, no. I can't tell them that they're, you know what I'm saying? I can't down look down on them. I just just say in my heart, you know, hopefully they become aware, but maybe at this point it's kind of too late because you injecting some shit that you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like think about this. Think about it. You injecting something that you don't know nothing about. So if you don't know nothing about it, but the media got you to do it, then think about who's really in control. You don't got power over yourself. You don't. All right, so I'm going to do a part two of this video. I'm going to call it the Jay Athens Chronicles. You know, when we talk some real life situations, man, if y'all if y'all have any questions, put in the comments. If you feel like there's a topic that you want me to talk about, put in the comments. Look at that Rolling Loud truck as soon as I talk about it, right? <laughs> right by the stadium right here. Rolling Loud is right there. But put in the comments. If you have a question that you feel you need more clarity on, I, I maybe can help you by what I know. And, you know, we're just going to start this discussion, y'all. So until next video.